Now it's time for my guest. You know him from Man Down, Taskmaster, and all of his brilliant stand-up tours. Please welcome the fantastic Greg Davis! <laughs> Nobody's actually been... Look, you're literally touching Touch me from it. that. <laughs> <laughs> nice, isn't it? It's, it is, it's kind of... Yeah, it's all right. Nice. <laughs> Two boys, Can you different age groups, comfortable yeah. touching each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like... This is how the Greeks did business, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the elder came on, said some wise stuff. Yeah. Then bummed him. Bummed him? Yeah. <laughs> this is all going in, isn't it? All going That's in. That's what they said. <laughs> 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 it is now. Uh, How are you, anyway? How's things? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right, thank you. And bumming, you're back on tour. Bumming lads aside. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to redo that because I'm a professional. No, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Bumming any lads. Bumming lads aside. It's going to be fucking hours of this, right. Uh, so, we haven't even done one question yet. No. You're, you're currently travelling the UK with your new stand-up show, Magnificent Beast. Yeah, you, Magnificent Beast. You, Magnificent... How's yeah. it going? Oh, I'm loving it. It's brilliant. I don't understand why anyone ever moans about it. Really? When you hear... I do, yeah, I've heard comics saying how stressful it is. It's not. You get driven to a town, you talk nonsense in front of people who've paid to hear you talk nonsense. Yes. And then, in my case, I drink uh, two full bottles of dry rosé wine. <laughs> <laughs> See, even this, such is your manner. You make sounding an alcoholic. Yeah. Really classy. But, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like that now. I'm 11 dates into a 55-date tour, so, realistically, I'm not going to survive. <laughs> Here's a question for you. All right. Lots changed since your last tour. Do you ever get scared watching the news? Yeah, I do, Russell, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm actually trying to avoid the news, cos it is petrifying, isn't it? I don't admire you having to make it funny, cos it's terrifying. You know, literally the <laughs> biggest penis in the world. <laughs> Is in charge of the world. Yeah. It's terrifying. It is. He's absolutely loathed him. Yeah, yeah. I don't even find him funny anymore. Yeah, well, that's the weird thing, isn't it? Choke the life out of him. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't see the comedy in it. Well, increasingly, no, yeah. because, because he is the most powerful man in the world, and, it, and ultimately, he might send people to their deaths, you know, and he's just, uh, he's just a reality star. He's out of his depth. I think that it's, it's uh, Republicans need to start more forcibly yeah. getting rid of him, you know? But that's because it's really frightening and dangerous. But it, it almost... <laughs> Do you ever get worried that the world's going to end? Yeah. What would you do if the world was going to end? I guess what I'm asking, if you had a bunker, who's in it? <laughs> I like the fact you're thinking about this. <laughs> I mean, the sensible answer would be, you know, the people I love, I suppose, but then I'd be taking them down with me, so... I don't know. Hadley? Tony Hadley? <laughs> Just you and Hadley. There's two other spaces and... Off the top Just... of my head, Russ, me and Tony Hadley. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, what, the thing I... <laughs> the problem I have, always have with the bunker situation is that if you're going to be down there for, for a long while, everyone's got needs. Sexual needs? Sexual needs. And... Ah, OK, let me rethink the Hadley thing. Yeah. <laughs> It's just going to be that lovely moment where you're singing Go! back to each other. <laughs> and then a week in where you have to go, Tony, can you look that way, cos I'm going to have a tug. Like, <laughs> it'd just be heartbreaking. Well, let's go on the show. Will this go on the show? Yeah, maybe. Well, talking about asking Tony Hadley to turn his back while I whack, my... <laughs> while I whack myself off. It, well, uh, if it doesn't go the on point, the show, uh, it'll certainly go on the internet. <laughs> like, man. Like... But... What I was gonna, what I was thinking about with you specifically is because um, Hugh Hefner died this week. Oh, and I thought well, of that's, you. That, I, that's a very uh, well, I d I that's did. a very kind comparison. Thank well, you. In that there's an air of sexual mystery about you. Oh, sure there is. Yeah. But yeah. do you know what I mean? Like it's kind of you, like you look like a man who's there's thrown... an air of sexual mystery. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> but you look. You look like I a. Think there are several <laughs> ex-girlfriends laughing heartily though. <laughs> There's nothing mysterious about it, mate. Oh, really? Yeah. But have you never been... Have you ever been to the mansion? 
No, of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> but how you must be similar age. But we <laughs> <laughs> an hour. Sorry. I thought it'd be fun coming on a mate's show. Oh. <laughs> no, but I mean that, because... I'll I tell you something, I, I, would, I would wear pyjamas and a dressing gown all the time if I could. Yeah. I mean that. If it was acceptable, I would. Uh, have you never been to, like, a wild... What's the wildest part of you? Because you look like a bloke who's been to some crazy shindigs. Not really, mate, no. <laughs> really? No, I suppose the, the craziest... The craziest party I can remember is I was trying to impress a girl and I drank an entire bottle of vodka. <laughs> Neat, <laughs> and then I sat on a lawn crying all night. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's not especially sexually mysterious, is it? No, but it's evocative, isn't it's it? It's powerful, isn't it? Oh, it's very powerful. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing is, well, he went deaf from taking too much Viagra. Did you know that? He went deaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, we've been. We've been setting up the wrong path all these years. Though. Yeah, well, that's what. But it begs... too much, and you go deaf. That's what they said. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever taken Viagra? No, I no, I haven't, Russell. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm on the cusp of it, but I haven't. <laughs> but I, I'll tell you what, my friend, who, who will remain nameless until after the record. Oh, great. <laughs> because you do know him. Oh, really? Yeah, you've met him. Yeah. My friend, he ordered some Viagra online, and then he he banged to without. <laughs> <laughs> without telling his wife. <laughs> and what he didn't know is that one of the possible side effects of Viagra is you can go bright purple. Because <laughs> it opens everything up. And he said he, he, he just smashed them and then was sitting with his wife, who he hadn't told, watching telly. Yeah. And she was just watching telly and she turned around to him and went, the fuck? <laughs> and he went, what, what? She goes, you're purple, that's what. <laughs> you need to call an ambulance. <laughs> and he was going, no, no, I'm sure. No, I think I've just got a bit too hot. But he said, he went to the bathroom and he was bright purple, like wow. something from Willy Wonka, you know. <laughs> yeah. But surely passed that off as too much Ribena, innit? Yeah. Like... <laughs> he, he, he said, she was shouting upstairs, are you all right? And he was going, no, I'm fine. And he was on Google going, <laughs> side effects of Viagra. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a good question for you. If you could change one law in the UK, what would it be? Uh... Would you ever think about that? Do you, ever, do you ever get sad with our country? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of the laws I'd change won't be popular in this room, cos I don't think that um, young people should be allowed to go to university until they're 30. <laughs> they can be very sensible freshers. Yeah, no, I just... <laughs> it's not that I don't want them to have fun, I just don't think anyone goes to university and learns. I think if you want to, you know, bang each other and get pissed, do it on your own time. <laughs> But it's going to be very hard to, to bang and get pissed because surely university is an area where you say, listen, this is the bang and get pissed area. Yeah, well, they can do, a, they can do a menial job and then they can meet up in a park and get pissed and bang each other. <laughs> so, so rather than university, you're advocating docking. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no... I'll tell you, I'll tell on, you what on. law I'd change. Hit me, I would make it legal, and, and I want to make this clear because uh, animal cruelty people will be on to me, it's in self-defence only, I think you should be able to twat a swan. <laughs> if you see the poster for my tour, it's me standing in a lake, and the reason I'm, I want to introduce this law is I had to keep running out in between the photo getting taken, <laughs> running out of the lake, because there was a swan after me. <laughs> Most of the crew who were supposed to be there making the picture look lovely were spent trying to sort of reason with this swan. <laughs> I just thought... <laughs> I mean, what I would say I'll is... tell you something whoa, else. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go on. A swan is one of three birds that has a penis. Has a penis? Yeah. Well, how close Most... did you get? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no wonder we wanted you out. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Do you know that? Most... Yeah, you, you fucking... It's that Greg Davis. You've been, you've been gooching my swan. That's not... <laughs> that's... Oh, that's, that's the, the queen. queen. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you think that was? Say, that's not a swan, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, swan would be like, what are you playing at? Yeah. Hey. Oi, get out of my... What are you playing in my fucking lake? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see my dick? <laughs> oh. so who are the other... Who are the others? Who are the other... With penises? I think an emu. An emu. You think an emu? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's clear. He's no, no. He's... None of the little birds have got dicks. Dickless. Absolutely dickless species. I'll tell you what, when Attenborough goes, you've got the job. Yeah. <laughs>
Look at that. Nothing. No, not even that's, a nut set. That's what I'm bitching <laughs> for. Look at that dickless <laughs> arsehole. <laughs> Did you know that, though? Did I you know they haven't got dicks? No, I... Yeah, I... Yeah, They've I... got cloacas, they just... <laughs> they what? Male and female birds have, have got... Both got a thing called a cloaca, which is just an opening, and they just pop them together. Well, like supermarket trolleys? Yeah. Like... <laughs> exactly like that, yeah. Do you that's why so many trolleys end up in, in lakes? You <laughs> 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 so... <laughs> really? I didn't know that. So I love that. Greg... I was told you were going to ask me what my biggest regret is. Oh, really? Yeah. OK, well, let's put that into a way. So, if you were... If the world was going to end... Yeah. ..what would be your biggest regret? Uh, every winter, w when it first goes cold, I pull a muscle in my left shoulder, Russell, and I'm reminded of the fact that when I was 13, I tried to suck my own cock. <laughs> Thanks very much, Greg. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful...